Hello Earth Signs, Taurus, Cappy, Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning into your reading. How do they think? How do they feel about your connection? Um, I'll be using a couple of decks here to see what your person, your romantic interest is thinking and feeling. We'll look at the subconscious mind and then we'll look at the conscious mind. So um, don't forget to drop a like to subscribe to the channel um, to get updates for readings for your sign and your element. Um, you'll have to click the bell notification button for that. And let's see what's come up here. So I wanted to pick a card from the bottom of the deck, but I feel like if the card's fallen out, I'm going to go with it. And what do we have? We've got the Nine of Cups. This is really, really beautiful. This is how this person's subconscious mind is is, is feeling. So subconsciously, um, they're feeling like you are fulfilling all their wishes. They're getting everything they want. And this is really beautiful. The Nine of Cups is when we feel fulfilled. Nine is a number of completion. Nine is like fulfillment. Like, wow, I really have everything I want. This is very powerful. This is a very strong indicator that emotionally they are being very fulfilled where they are with you in your relationship. Um, it could also be that you are fulfilling a lot of things they didn't even know they needed. Um, you know, maybe they've come from a traumatic background and they need a lot of affection because they never got it when they were younger. Um, or maybe they are coming into this relationship and you are being so caring and so guiding or so strong or so resilient, whatever you're doing, um, it's, it's helping them. And I feel with this coming up, this is a really good sign that their subconscious is giving them good feedback, good vibes saying you're on the right track. You know, this is what you're wanting. This is what you're receiving. We're so happy. We're so joyed. So uh, to see that in their subconscious mind, you know, this is very powerful. But let's um, let's see what's going on. Why do they feel this night, this beautiful nine of cups? Why is it? And how can you help sustain this energy? Okay, the temperance, the hierophant, and the ten of cups. Really, really beautiful. So we've got Sagittarius and Taurus that have come up. So if you're dealing with one of these signs. Okay, so we've got the temperance. This is honesty. They either, they feel the nine of cups because they feel like in you, they found someone very honest. Um, or it could be that um, they have a lot of fun. This is a lot of balance here as well. So they are, the reason they feel fulfilled is because of the balance that's going on in the relationship. Balance with um, opinion, balance with arguments, balance in, in, in terms of how much time you're spending with each other. There's a good element of balance, and this is something that this person is really, really loving. Subconsciously, they could also believe that you are their twin flame. Um, romance and respect is very highly appreciated by this person as well. We've got the Hierophant. So what we're seeing here is um, romance, intimacy, affection, um, respect, and, and the status. How I feel like this has got to do with the pacing. Subconsciously, the pacing is on par. Okay, so don't rush, don't lag. Where it's going now, subconsciously, for this person at least, it seems to be on par with 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 what, what they're really, really wanting. Um, but romantically, this is a big fulfillment. Okay, anything to do with sexuality and chemistry, subconsciously, all those wonderful things are being fulfilled for them for for this person, which is fantastic to see. And, you know, they've got the Ten of Cups. Look at this. Look at them lovingly. Look at each other. Um, adore each other here. This is really beautiful. Um, I get the vibe with the Ten of Cups that this person feels subconsciously. They've found the person they could grow old with, they could marry, or they could be with for life. You know, to have this, no matter how deep you are in this connection or if you're coming back to this person, it's a very, very strong indicator that they're thinking subconsciously about the long-term future for you. And this is what you're wanting. They're picking up on cues, on, on, on language, on um, you know, body language, on love, on everything that you're experiencing together. That subconscious mind is giving them this message that, hey, this is the person you could spend your rest of your life with. Or, hey, this is, this is someone for the long haul. So, again, you must be doing something powerful for them to be feeling this way, um, Taurus in, in particular, but this is, you know, they're, they're, they're considering some really intense stuff here. Um, and the subconscious mind is giving them the green light, the green light, the green light, but let's have a look. What's, what's their conscious mind? How are they coming across? 
What are they thinking in the active mind? Okay. Let's have a look. Okay, the two of ones. Okay, so they, interestingly enough, with the two of ones, they are, yes, considering the future, but they're considering a lot of things. There could be another connection next to this person. Now, the two of ones, they may be comparing you to someone else, someone that's currently around them, someone that used to be around them. Um, but I would say this is a good thing in one aspect. Why? Because they're being analytical. Okay, their subconscious mind is giving them the green tick, like, yes, 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 we want this person, we want this person. But the rational mind now is saying, okay, but do they have this? And will they do that? And can I marry them? And will they be there for them? And is this, you know, so don't fret. It's not always another person with the two of ones. Um, I feel like if they're feeling the two of ones, it can be like, they're holding the world in their hands. And I feel what this could uh, translate to is that, they're trying to mix up their life. They're trying to change their life in, in a transformational way. But you are already part of that transformation. Now, we've got the castle here. So they're trying to... This is a bit of a safety net. Um, they don't want to jump in too deep because they don't want to get hurt. And this is why I feel like they're doing a lot of comparison. So if you're seeing the two of ones, if they're being very fickle, like they're giving you mixed messages, one day you meet up, you know, one week it's great, the next week not so great, things slow down. Know that it's their rational mind that's trying to weigh things up. And you possibly need to give them that time to do that with the two of ones. There may be someone else here in the picture. And you have to see, you know, which one are you? Are you the one that brings them to adventure and the one they could, you know, embark on this journey, pick up the wand and go walking? Or are you the one that sort of, they're going to stay safe with? Um, you know, they're going to stay in the confines of the castle wall. So I feel like what's speaking to me is that the conscious mind, they want fun. They want fun. They want adventure. They want intimacy. That's what they're craving. But let's, let's jump into why they're feeling the two of wands. Okay, we've got the Empress, very attracted to you. Something about children here or fertility. Six of Wands, but it's come up reversed. And then we have the Hermit, so Virgo energy has come up. The Empress can be Taurus, Libra. Um, so, okay, they're, they're wanting alone time. If they're wanting alone time, if they want to be on their own, if they want to think about things, you need to let them do that. The Hermit is them trying to process things. Um, they want to get this right. And they're nervous about it. So you need to give them time. The moon in the background would indicate anxiety, but also attachment. So there is an attachment to you from this person, emotionally speaking. So there is an attachment that lingers here. So you shouldn't worry about that. Um, but if they're displaying this energy of sometimes they withdraw or, you know, they want to be on their own. This is independence. You've got a person who's highly independent here. They don't want to lose their self-identity. Um, maybe they're not ready to become the we person just yet. We do this and we go there and we are this and we are that. They want I their own self or identity. And it's important not to pressure this person because if you do, they won't want to move forward in the situation. And that's possibly why they've halted things right now. The conscious, the what they're thinking and feeling, six of ones. Um, you know... This can be about a journey or about a departure, but it's reversed. So I would indicate this person doesn't want to leave. Okay. If you're, maybe this is for those that are more like, um, having fights with this person, or if this is an ex or someone you're still attached to and attachment still lingers, they may just need space and then they'll come back. They may need space to compare you to other people to see what life is like without you. Um, but don't forget, they've got that nagging Subconscious going, yes, this is the person. What are you doing? We belong together. Why are you doing this? But their rational mind. The hermit is the overthinker. Okay, so we've got, they're overthinking things. They're being bombarded with lots of thoughts. Um, there's growth. Okay, there, there's growth that, that's happening on this person's end. So you need to let that happen. The growth may need to happen without you though. Um, so that may need to happen when they're away from you. When they're not seeing you so they can miss you so they can process everything so again i'm going to be drawn to this you need to give them space and you need to let that happen in their own time um in their own way for that to happen but 
the Empress sees beauty. So they do see beauty in your connection. They do see growth and they do see a future, both in the conscious and the subconscious mind. So it's all there. I think you just need to give this person a little bit more time um, and try to be a little bit more patient with them. So um, I hope you have enjoyed this Earth Science. Thank you again so much for tuning in. Don't forget to drop a like, um, share, subscribe. That would be much appreciated. Um, otherwise, I'm sure we'll catch up very, very soon. So thank you and bye for now.